After murdering Harry's parents, James and Lily Potter, evil Lord Voldemort puts a killing curse on Harry, then just a baby. The curse inexplicably reverses, defeating Voldemort and searing a lightning bolt scar in the middle of the infant's forehead. Harry is then left at the doorstep of his boring with brutish aunt and uncle, the Dursleys. Hagrid was not happy to leave Harry at Dudsley's, but Dumbledore explained that he decided to leave Harry with Vernon, Petunia, and Dudley Dursley because they are his blood relations. For ten years, Harry lives in the cupboard under the stairs and is subjected to cruel mistreatment by Aunt Petunia, Uncle Vernon and their son Dudley. On his 11th birthday, Harry receives a letter inviting him to study magic at the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. The Dudsleys didn't want Harry to go to Hogwarts because Petunia loathed magic because she didn't have any, and Vernon was a no-nonsense person that wouldn't accept magic. They both considered Harry an aberration and a freak of nature that could cause them only embarrassment with his freakiness. So, they took Harry to a place where no one can reach Harry, but Hagrid reached there with a birthday cake for Harry, and took Harry with him to Hogwarts. On the journey, Hagrid took him to Diagon Alley to buy some of his stuff for school. There, Harry came to know that his parents were murdered by Voldemort. Also, Harry discovered there that not only is he a wizard, but he is a famous one. Then on the train, Harry met Ron and Hermione and after some time, they became fast friends. On reaching Hogwarts, they were sorted into houses, the sorting hat wanted Harry to be in Slytherin, but Harry chose Gryffindor. Ron and Hermione were also sorted in Gryffindor. Where he meets two best friends, Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger, he also makes his first enemy, Draco Malfoy. Harry has a knack for the school sport, Quidditch, and soon is recruited onto the Gryffindor team as its star seeker. He became a star seeker because it was in his blood, as his father was also a seeker. Soon, he won his first Quidditch match and proved himself. Perusing the restricted section in the library, Harry along with Hermione and Ron discovers that the Sorcerer's Stone produces the Elixir of Life, which gives its trinker the gift of immortality. After realizing that Voldemort might be after the stone, Albus Dumbledore had it moved it to Hogwarts for safekeeping. Out of curiosity, Harry and his friends went to the restricted section, in search of the stone. Ron and Hermione helped him on his way. Then on reaching the stone, Harry realized that Professor Quirrell was helping Voldemort to get that stone. Harry fights Voldemort courageously and finds out that when she died, Lily Potter transferred to her son an ancient magical protection from Voldemort's lethal spells. This protection is what allowed Harry as an infant to survive Voldemort's attack. It also helps Harry keep Voldemort from possessing the stone. So, Harry protected the stone to be taken by Voldemort, but injured himself in the process and fainted. When he woke up, Dumbledore told him that he had destroyed the stone and there is no further danger. He also warned him that Voldemort could not succeed this time, but he could return back and they need to be prepared for that. In this way, Harry, Ron and Hermione protected everyone and it ended the first year at Hogwarts.